everybody, AP Precal, it's Ms. Kosh. Um, today, I think I already have a number of um, videos on the unit circle that I think are very helpful. I want to talk about tangent a little more, um, just to kind of flesh out and support some of the other videos that I have. So if you remember, on the unit circle, um, we care about the unit circle because its x value is cosine of the angle, and its y value is sine of the angle. And therefore, its tangent value um, is going to be equal to um, sine over cosine, which is the y value over the x value. And anytime you see y over x, you should think automatically slope. Okay, so the way that I, I when I stand up in, in, in the classroom, I'm using my arm all the time, and we're talking about um, uh, this horizontal line going like this has a slope of zero. So we can say here that tangent of, this is zero radians is equal to zero, and over here, we have tangent of pi radians is equal to zero. Um, likewise, then I would hold up my arm in a, um, in a vertical line and, say, and ask my students um, and ask everybody, what is the slope of that line? Well, the slope of that line is undefined. Um, and so we know that tangent of pi over 2 is undefined. Um, and likewise, tangent of 3 pi over 2 is also undefined. And for all of these, anything that's coterminal with this angle, so tangent of 0 is 0, tangent of 2 pi is 0, tangent of 4 pi is 0, tangent of 202 pi or whatever um, is equal to 0. So anything that's going to be coterminal right here, um, any even pi is going to be coterminal right here. Um, keep in mind that if we think about this, it's, this is the coordinate over here, it's 1 comma 0. So when I do y divided by x, I end up getting 0 over 1. Likewise, this one was the point 0, 1, so when I do y over x, I get 1 over 0. You are not Chuck Norris, you cannot divide by 0, and so this is undefined. Um, now, let's look at the next one that I like to do, and in class, I'd, I'd hold my arm up and look at the, the pi over 4 family. So if we have tangent of pi over 4, its x value and its y value have the same, uh, have the same magnitude. They're the same length there. And so root 2 over 2 divided by, well, OK, I should have done it this way. The y value, root 2 over 2, divided by the x value, root 2 over 2, gives us a value of 1. And then we notice that we can trace this down um, do, 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 down to quadrant 3, and that's the exact same line. And so its slope is exactly the same. So tangent of, this is 5 pi over 4, is also equal to 1. <clears throat> um, if I reflect this into the other quadrants, um, it's going to have a similar, the absolute value of the slope stays the same, but now in quadrant 2 and 4, it's negative. Okay, so I look over here and I can say, okay, tangent of 3 pi over 4 is equal to negative 1. Down here, I get tangent of 7 pi over 4 is equal to negative 1. Okay, and I'm trying to be intentional with colors in this video, just so you can see kind of how everything is tied in and related together. Um, the next one, when I'm at the pi over 6 family, so tangent of pi over 6, my coordinates here are root 3 over 2 comma 1 half. And so dividing, I have y divided by x. Well, dividing fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. 1 half times 2 over root 3. I get 1 over root 3. I can't leave it like that. Um, so we end up with 1 over root 3. We have to rationalize the denominator. Multiply by root 3 over root 3. It gives me root 3 over 3. So tangent of pi over 6 is a positive root 3 over 3. And then I come down, I can trace this doo -doo 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 all the way over here. Um, the tangent in quadrant 3, this is 7 pi, can you see what I'm writing? I think you can. 7 pi over 6 is also a root 3 over 3. Now, we have the same, um, um, the magnitude, I mean, I don't know how you describe this. This guy reflected over the, um, the y-axis um, has the same absolute value of the slope, but it's now negative. Okay, so over here, we're looking at tangent of 5 pi over 6 is equal to um, a negative root 3 over 3. And down here, we get tangent of 11 pi over 6 is equal to a negative root 3 over 3. Um, okay, so we have done most of the unit circle, but not all. So we have one more. <coughs> Sorry, I was homesick yesterday. Um, 
Now we're looking at the pi over 3 family, so tangent of pi over 3 is going to be, um, I'm, I have, um, this is x value is 1 half, and its y value is root 3 over 2. So when I divide y by x, so y value divided by the x value, multiply by the reciprocal, um, I get root 3 over 2 times root, uh, not root, times 2 over 1, the 2's cancel, and so tangent of pi over 3 is just equal to root 3. Okay, and so trace this down. Do, 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 do. We are now over here at tangent of, this is 4 pi over 3, is equal to root 3. Looking at these over here, um, I have, this is tangent of 2 pi over 3, and it, once again, it works out the same way. It's just as steep, but it's negative, so this is a negative root 3. Coming down to this one, to this quadrant, we have tangent of, what is that, 5 pi over 3, is equal to negative root 3. Okay, so what I talk about with my kids is we talk about just slope. How steep is the line that we care about? Um, so I have a slope of 0. I have a slope that's undefined. I have a slope of 1. Likewise, I have a slope of negative 1. Okay, but let's just think about the positive for a second. So in my opinion, those three are pretty easy to, to know and to remember. Keep in mind the pi over 4 family has a slope of 1 when you talk tangent. Um, and so then the next question is, which is a bigger value? Which is a more steep line, root 3 or a third of root 3? Well, root 3 is bigger than something that's a third of that. Um, so when I think of, I'm just thinking in terms of slope. The slope here, root 3, is steeper, um, and so that's the pi over 3 family. Um, root 3 over 3 is less steep than 1. So that's how I remember the tangent values. And if you get these in um, your head and are familiar with them, life is so much easier. Um, a quick reminder for my students, when you do, I'm going to print this paper out. I, I should have made copies before I wrote all over it. I forgot. I'll print it again. Um, I'm going to hand you this exact piece of paper. You do not have to do everything I just said in this video. You do not have to do any of the tangent values, but at every spot on the unit circle, so all 16 places. Can you see that color? I don't know. Let's switch. All 16 places, I'm going to write a degree and a radian, and at zero, they're both the same, and I'm going to write the coordinates as an ordered pair. And so you have to give that, so then the next one would be like pi over 6, 30. You don't have to write the degree symbol, even though we're supposed to. It's root 3 over 2, 1 half. And so we're going to do, you'll have 16 places on the unit circle. I'm expecting you to have, um, to know all of it. I'll give you a blank copy. If you can, if you can fill it out faster than me, I'll give you a bonus. Um, but I'm good. Um, what else is I going to say? I, you don't have to put the degree symbol because when we go fast, they start to become zeros, and that's bad. Um, but you do need to give me the parentheses and the comma um, around the ordered pair. Um, so I will hand you this piece of paper, and you have to do um, degrees, radians, x-coordinate, y-coordinate as an ordered pair for all 16 places on the unit circle. Um, that will make your life so much easier if you get this in your head and you can see it and you know what to do. All right, good luck. Go study.